Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and it's that time of the month again we have a scroller box today and this is number 99 for the month of November this arrived on the 28th today is the 30th a bit late um, I already know what's inside um, if you don't know what scroller box is this is um, a monthly art subscription box based in the UK and I think it's £20.95 or something like that. Anyway, not a sponsor, I just love scroller box. So, like I said, I already know what's inside. So, let's open this box and let me show you. Okay. Ooh, let's take everything out and yes very easy to guess right so we have the scroller scene this is a beautiful print by and the artist is the DUSD dust okay let me put my goggles on um i was born in the ural mountains so i can probably call myself a highlander oh okay and this is the website and instagram instagram yes if you want to take a look okay and i love these hands they are absolutely gorgeous beautiful work okay so we have um, some paper for pastels or charcoal. A bit narrow, a bit, a bit small for me, but let's see. Let's continue. We have a sticker. Okay. I have quite a few of these. I really like to uh, buy them because I keep losing them. Um, this is this is like those makeup uh, sponges. Okay. Um, we have. I need my glasses or my goggles. I can't see a thing, guys. All right. We have. Um, a 2B Faber Castell pencil. I already have one of these, and this is a Derwent pastel white. Oh, we have the sweetie, and this is a strawberry. Let's try it. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> Hmm. Let's give me a sip, guys. Be back. Okay, guys. Um, that sweet was really nice. Um, next we have uh, twenty-four soft pastels, Faber Castell. I have a collection of soft pastels, but I don't think I own Faber Castell one. So, let's take a look. All right. Oh, <laughs> they are small and cute. Oh, oh. Some of them are already contaminated. Yeah. Oh, I think we'll be all right. Yeah. And here are the colors. Very, very nice. I really like pastels. I know <laughs> these are not for everybody, but I've been working with uh, soft pastels since the 90s, so I really, really like this medium. So let's take a look at the scene. Very happy with this. Put everything back in here. 
Oh, come on, get in. My goodness. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at this thing. So, um, information about the supplies that came in the box. Let me see. Uh, What is the paper? This pad of texture and slightly toned paper offers the perfect pastel surface. Nice. Um, it's quite. It's, hmm, I think it's fine. The only thing that I don't like is the size. <laughs> I would have rather something um, um, wider. Mm. Well, let's see. Next. Okay. Um, we have a sit down with the artist and uh, dust, dust, and here are her beautiful artworks very very nice we have the the tips color tips and how to use the pastel some tips you can use um brooches um you can blend colors directly on the paper but I'm not guys I'm not going to use this by the way I'm going to use my finger I'm used to it so goodbye <laughs> maybe another time <laughs> uh, right so we have uh, more tips beautiful hands okay and my favorite part, the gallery. And two of my friends are featured here. Well done, Annie Claxton and Tori, or also known as um, Cool Cookie Creatures. I recognize the lion and the cat anywhere. Absolutely fantastic. Beautiful, beautiful artworks. Well done, everybody. We have the top three. Oh, look at that car. Gorgeous. Beautiful work. We have some article here. Unconscious creativity. Okay. Beautiful painting. The Nightmare by Henry Fuseli. Gorgeous. And the challenge is a uh, dream catcher. So let's read this. Um, wakey wakey scrollers. It might have been a dream, but don't let it slip away. It is said that dreams are the subconscious Ima imaginings of our memories and images so why not let this uh, inspire you and put pastel to paper these soft pastels can be swept dotted hatched and scrolled to form all your dreams like creations okay okay guys um i'm gonna swatch these um pastels okay Like I said, I'm going to use my fingers. They are already messy. Look, I barely touched them. Okay. Oh my God, this paper is too small. <laughs> right. Um, I'm just going to swatch just a few. I'm going to start with this color. It's really nice.
zum Los. Prince. I like this color. In yellow. Okay, um, now I'm going to use my finger <sighs> and I need to get um, a piece of uh, paper or maybe a piece of cloth, a damp cloth, so I can wipe my fingers before I start doing my piece. Um, let's blend. Um, let's try this blue. And some of these red. It's a nice purple. Okay. Um, I don't usually use pencil um, with pastels. I never done that before, but it came in the box, so yeah, I'm gonna try using this mm, I'm not keen on using pencil but it came in the box so I'm gonna use it and um, right let's try this um, white pencil in this for highlights and texture very nice okay now um what else what else um i am not using any other tools i'm not going i'm not going to use this um i just don't like it i'm gonna use my fingers and maybe maybe a piece of paper so i'm very happy with the supplies um the, my only complaint is the size of the the paper it's a bit too small for this um yeah but i will try my best so the challenge is dream catcher and something inspired by the print as well so yeah i have everything ready so let's get to work see you guys in a second
Oh boy. Okay, guys, I am really pissed off. I thought I was recording. When I finished my piece and I went to check, the recording wasn't there. I thought I pressed record. Obviously, I didn't. I don't know what happened. I really don't know. I always, always film the process so you guys can see what I'm doing. Uh, I just don't know what happened. Um, anyways, I'm really angry about that. So I apologize. I wanted to show you the process. Never mind. Um, here is my piece done. I might add more uh, details later on before I post it on my Instagram. Okay. It's all right. Um, it is not as I pictured it in my head. Uh, first of all, I was struggling fitting the hand and the face in this small piece of paper and for the outline um, I used this um, pastel pencil because obviously you cannot do it with the blocks um, and then yes I used this for the outline okay and the little details and the rest I used the blocks and here it is um, yeah I did enjoy using the pastels they are very nice I really like them um, I like the pencil I have quite a few of these and uh, there went uh, pastels and uh, the pencil is nice and the eraser my only complaint is the paper don't get me wrong the paper is good quality very nice paper i'm just annoyed about the size <laughs> that's all but it is a good paper um yes yeah, so next i'm going to add more details before i fix it i have some fixative here in my studio and yeah that's it I hope you enjoyed it guys uh, I really enjoyed creating the piece I uh, was just struggling a bit because of the size of the paper but besides that I was happy with everything so uh, that's it for now guys um, um, I'm going to be very very busy for the next few weeks I have um, an event coming very soon and I have some commitments and yeah I will try my best to upload um, maybe a couple of videos before the new year and yeah oh boy <laughs> I'm still upset about that uh, never mind okay thank you so much for watching guys I hope you enjoyed this video hope you like it and see you very very soon Bye-bye.